Oh no. Hey internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot and welcome to Raffo! Secret Project 4 is probably the most connected of any book by Brandon Sanderson ever. We thought there was a lot in Rhythm of War, Lost Metal, even Tress or Yumi. Nah, bro. This one's gonna be crazy. The other secret projects were solid entry points into the Cosmere, while still being satisfying for the more invested. This one seems like you'll need to be Cosmere aware in order to have any clue what's going on. Here's everything we know about Secret Project 4, The Sunlit Man. This is actually based on one of the earliest story ideas Brandon had in the Cosmere. People living on the surface of a planet that itself was rolling on the surface of another larger planet. Basically this, but on a macro scale. That idea got scrapped pretty quick in favor of a really hot sun. Rule of cool, yes, but also physics. But you still have a people forced to keep moving to survive. The main character is, of course, Sigzil. Lots of references to Roshar. He says storms multiple times, alludes to various aspects of their ecology, plants that hide, white spines, high storms, even some notes on actual events and other characters we'd be familiar with. Though he's a long way from Bridge 4, both in terms of time and space. We are far, far in the future of the Cosmere. We've got hover bikes, rocket ships, energy rifles, electric lights, entire cities that come together like jet-powered hordlings. And this is definitely a Sigzil who has seen some things since the last time we met him in Rhythm of War. He mentions the floating cities of Ashen, the invested sun on Taldane, and he recognizes the naming conventions of Threnody. Being so far in the future, pretty much everyone is Cosmere aware to a degree. Sigzil and his Spren are looking for a source of investiture, which will allow them to manipulate connection to understand the local language. And there's even someone named Aiden Alcium will remember our plight eventually, which is a mouthful. Speaking of that Spren, Auxiliary, they both say it's dead. We haven't actually been told what Sigzil's honor Spren is named, but Auxiliary sounds more like a cryptic name, honestly. Though he's skipping from planet to planet, which seems kinda else callery. It's not just once Radiance that's powering him up, though, as he's currently suffering from a torment, making him unable to do violence, which is a side effect of holding a Dawn Shard. The same one as Hoid, or is that a standard symptom? Have we just not seen that effect on our other Dawn Shard friend yet? Sig is running from the Night Brigade, which if you're more deeply involved in the fandom, you may recognize as the title of the eventual Shadows for Silence sequel on Threnody. It's about a group of people trying to retake the homeland from the evil. Yeah, that, uh, doesn't go well. So we'll see what the Forest of Hell is going on there. They don't sound pleasant. Do they want his Dawn Shard? Does he still have it? Or what exactly is going on? We'll find out in two weeks! Thanks for watching! As always, huge thank you to all of my patrons. There's so many now! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig! Everybody make sure your addresses are updated in Patreon so I can send you some sweet, sweet swag! Seriously, I'm very proud of these. Next week, we won't be having a regular video, as I will be at Fanex in Salt Lake City the whole weekend. I'll be performing with the Grassroots Shakespeare Company, so come say hi! Instead of a video, I will be live streaming the Cosmere Battle Royale panel I'm moderating, along with Ammon, ADHD Projects on TikTok, Melinda, that Cosmere chick, Amy of Coincidence Cosplay and the Sandersonian Institute of Cosmere Studies, and Colby Hillman, Roundtable Designs. If you'll be at the con, come check it out! Or watch the stream on Friday the 22nd at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Who would win in a fight between Kaladin and Kenton? Wax versus Vasher. The Blackthorn versus everyone. You'll have to watch and find out. I'm gonna win.